He's going to play that tape in public. Oh, crap. All right, we're about to do a uh, KV X-ray OBI matching on this head and neck patient who's already been set up to the marks on the mask, so we will begin the process. All right, Dr. Team. Extend the arms out. Gantry. <laughs> People get a bit seasick. We're rotating the gantry to the to have the KV X-ray on the AP position for the imaging. So we are in position to take okay. the AP KV X-ray. Okay, now it's on the screen. Ready? Okay. So even though it says pelvis, it's actually hand neck. Uh, let me uh, change actually uh, AP head. Let me do it and like, do it again. Okay, the picture is slightly better. Mm -hmm. and, okay, all right. Do analysis. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at um, automatic matching. And, and the thing is, the first thing we do is to make sure the window is set up at uh, uh, reasonable region of interest. Can I set the region of interest? Yes, show? sure. sure. But you, you tell me when because you're holding the camera. You want me to move up? Here, I'll tell you. Oh, um, I'll tell you what. So we have the ROI set now, and basically we concentrate on the base of skull okay, region. We're going to set the C1 through C5. We're going to set the ROI for AP. So let's Let just, move just, this just put it right under the uh, mandible, Joe, okay. and concentrate on the spine, yeah, I'm I'm right under the mandible. Okay. I'd raise it up a little bit more. The mandible, okay. Just right here, yeah. And then okay. bring it down just a little bit more. The bottom, bring the bottom oh, down. Oh, bottom just down, okay. Yeah. To the clavicle? No. About right there. That's okay. good. All right. And I think we're ready to do okay, an auto go ahead. Yeah. So the rotation is checked. Okay. Okay, so it's not done. Okay, and let me. So, look so let's at look ships. at the picture, or you can see uh, close. And if I look at the lateral first, okay, you can go to. Uh, if we could just kind of go back and forth, I think that'd be the oh, nicest okay. view. Okay, you can do that. We can do that. Yeah, do a blend. Uh, just one second here. We'll take the window off. Uh, and just hidden behind here somewhere now. Uh, where's Glenn? Okay. Yeah. okay, so we can go ahead and... Use the slider down there, Joe, to go back and forth. Yeah, okay. That's actually very decent. Even the head didn't move. Mm -hmm. The skull has slight movement, but mm -hmm. we're not interested in the skull. Right. Let's look at the AP. Okay, let's switch to AP. The head is slight movement on the head, but the spine is steady still. Spine and looks e very good. Even the clavicle is slightly off, but we don't care about the clavicle here. Looks good. Okay. You want to look and at we the have window? a one millimeter shift. Yeah, we have a one millimeter shift. So you'll see up. Okay. We do a 3D, 3D match, and it's download access for, uh, actually, uh, it will take me through. Okay, couch rail we don't have, so we're fine. Okay, we have a bow tie in the beam, and we want to do, since it's a head and neck, we do it, do it 25 centimeter. Circle. It's fine. It will be a, it will be a, it will be a half fan. 
So we go to next. Okay, we we'll go We don't do it yet. TR. So let's go ahead. Go to next. And then we have main That's the resolution. We want five twelve by five twelve. Requiring dark view. Right now, basically, the system is zeroing out the signal noise. You know, uh, the detector noise. And it, it does some preliminary things on the on the reconstruction matrix. And of course the joke is the screen has to be black so it acquire a dark field. But you know what's a joke anyway. Okay. Okay now we can the bow tie is mounted. Bow tie is mounted, right? We didn't remove it, okay. Okay, please auto mo motion basically now. Uh, if you if you're gonna look at the image uh, on that screen, on the mm -hmm. image screen, the image you're gonna move to one side. On the on the upper right hand corner, you will see the image will move to one side. You know, you know, you know, for the for the for the CTR precision. Right. Okay. So now we're gonna enable the couch movement. Sorry. So the gantry will go to the starting position. The the the, the gantry angle is it's, it's gonna go to one eighty five. So basically, now you will go down to the bottom of the table, and you will rotate. Uh, yeah, okay. okay, it says, now, it says uh, press foot switch, and it, uh, no, no, don't turn x-ray on yet. You make sure the, uh, that the x-ray is uh, enabled. Actually, this is a... Because okay, okay, we're ready. Okay, now you can rotate again. So now that's acquiring data. No, no. Except now the data is acquiring right now. Just to illustrate something is happening. This data is 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 really no value to the human being as in watching it because because it's just letting us know the data being acquired. And as you can see, we use a very fancy head holder system which is practically radio loosened. It's, it's important for uh, image quality consideration and also for IMRT consideration. I saw that add that into uh, I say editorial. Yes, good editorial. For the head holders, no. At least that's the head holder we're using this week. <laughs> anyway, if you notice that head holder by the way is a radio loosened, you mean KVX, it's very important. So it doesn't, doesn't attenuate any 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 MV beams, but yeah, that's the head holder we used this week. You see the head holder now, basically it's radio right. loosened. By the way, Actually we, it looks pretty good. I yeah. think this is the first time I've seen the CBCT on this head holder. So. Yeah. Did, we, uh, did we ever, buy, nice. the, did we ever buy the uh, the other one? No, I don't think so. The, the med tech people can be gone. Did, mm -hmm. We didn't buy it. Oh, I think we did actually. Yes, oh. yes, yes. Oh yeah, that's what, right. Yeah. So next week we'll be using a different head holder. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. So the Combeam CT acquisition is finished, and uh, now the computer is just yeah. uh, reconstructing. Joe, could you stand off just a little bit to your left? I mean, when you're working with it, that's fine. Oh, I see. Okay. If you'll just okay. stay a little bit over to the left there. Yeah. So now the reconstruction speed at this moment in time is still about two, two and a half minutes or something like that. And however, always looking to the future, the next release of software, the construction time will be similar or equal to the scanning time. So by the time the scan is done, the reconstruction will be completed. And that will require some hardware. Okay, now this is the cone beam data. Before I bring up the, the CT, you can see the quality of the image is really, really very good. This is the cone beam that we're looking it's at? It's the cone beam we're looking at. It's the it's one of the better the, looking it, ones I've let seen. Let me peek under the scene, not peeking under somebody's skirt, but peeking under the scene so I can get, never mind, forget it. <laughs> let me just go on and accept the data. <laughs> I try to find That looks very good. I, try, I, I try like to, to find see free scale. <laughs> I'd like to see uh I'd like to review that for sure. But. Yeah. Okay, now this is cone beam. Cone beam is being shown here. And if I do uh do the the the, the uh, slider here, this is the on this side is the reference C T 
and then let me adjust the window level a little bit so we can see the reference CT better. Make it just a little bit darker. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's showing up better on the camera if you'll make okay. it darker. Okay, a little bit more. Yeah, that looks good okay. on camera. Now that's that's the cone beam, and I'm mean, sorry, that's the reference CT, and this is the cone beam right now. The 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 cone beam CT. Let's make that a little bit darker. The cone beam. The cone beam. Okay. Darker, yet yeah, darker still. More. A little bit more dark. Yeah, that looks okay. very good. So now that's the cone beam, and that's the that's the reference CT. Mm -hmm. Looking at the spinal column, the fusion is perfect almost. And now, if you're looking at the if you're looking at the at the at the at the, at the sagittal uh, sorry the sagittal cut. So now, uh, and then of course we need to look at the coronal cut as well. Let me go ahead and move the plane, look at the coronal cut, and then and then, and then move at the, you know, looking at the match. This is the the the, the cone beam. This is the this is the uh, the reference CT. So do you want to move any, or do you want to? Well, can we do? Um, no, that I, I, looks again, very very good. Again, I got to peek again. Can we do uh, <laughs> automatic matching? Uh, yes, you can. Let me just go ahead and do an auto matching. By the way, if you notice on the 3D image, there's no ROI possible. So that's a future improvement. They were, they're going to introduce ROI on the cone beam, uh, on the cone beam CT as well. So, so, so it's successfully complete. So we can close. So it's interesting because so here are our shifts. It's two millimeter under the other two dimension. So on the previous uh, it's, it's, KVOBI, it's it was lateral. one millimeter lateral zero zero. Yeah. But those are all kind of obviously in the same general neighborhood. Yeah. Because uh, because a cone beam CT is a function of the pixel size and and all that. I keep I have to do this thing. It's really bad. I'm sorry, but guys, had a peek on it. Okay. But anyway, looks so, like a very good match. Yeah. Even the skin is matched. One reason his skin is matched, even though it's a head and neck patient, is because uh, he was CT'd. We re-CT and replan all, all of our head and neck patients. He was re-CT'd only about a week ago. So yeah. this is a very recent data set. So it should match his current yeah, anatomy. Yeah, his bony anatomy is almost perfect match. There's no movement Let's go and all. look at the bony anatomy here on this view. If we can just get a little bit more over in the midline in the uh, spinal canal, Joe. Yeah, now if we can go back and forth on that. All the way back and forth. Okay, okay that's, that's the all the way. CT. That's the reference CT. Yeah. And now we go all the way back this is to the beam. cone beam CT. Yeah, that's the cone beam. Right and now. we go all the way back to the reference CT. Yeah, there is some and we go all the way back to the cone beam CT. But it looks very good. And yeah, we can see that the spinal canal the spinal is very nicely lined up, and all you know, even his soft slight, palate almost looks lined up. Yeah, there's a slight movement of the jaw, the patient jaw. Right. Because go back and but, forth on that yeah. really quickly. Yeah. But you don't yeah. expect that the patient to be right. exactly the same. No, it looks very good. Yeah, things like that actually will cause fusion. Can we?